I took my first flight to England to pursue my Master of Arts in Fashion and Textile Design. I never knew that my studies were going to be very difficult and I had to face failures and rejections. I literally lived in my university studio and library, reading and writing and painting and drawing and analyzing things and researching. I worked hard day and night. And finally, I cleared my old number dues and I became a Master of Arts. I came back to my home in Kerala. One day, I was scrolling through the Facebook and I saw a very particular Facebook post about finding the best designers in India. It was a national level competition. I applied and submitted my master's dissertation book. I won and finally, I launched my brand at the prestigious and most celebrated Lakme Fashion Week in Mumbai. It was surreal. I couldn't believe my eyes that the newspapers that I've been reading all my life wrote about me. International fashion magazines like Glamour and Elle and Vogue covered my book. Hollywood actresses started wearing my clothes. I was living a dream life. But one day, I visited the industry where my clothes were made. And things were never the same afterwards. Hello everyone, my name is Devin Johnny. I'm an artist, designer, entrepreneur and a climate warrior. I own a sustainable luxury clothing brand named Jepsa Spa, which comes from my familial connections. Jebin, sisters and parents. I visited the industry where my clothes were made. I saw children dyeing my fabrics using hazardous cancer-causing chemicals without any safety precautions. No face masks, no hand gloves and no boots. The people who worked for me were overworked and underpaid. That was the moment I realized that when I made money by selling clothes, the people who made my clothes did it. Everything was unethical and unfair. The whole process of garment manufacturing, right from the yarn to the fabric to the final product, was a threat to the planet. I was polluting the climate. I was responsible for the climate crisis. I didn't want to be part of this anymore. So I decided to take a break and start afresh. In the future, when my children or my grandchildren or my nephew ask me, why didn't I do anything to stop the global warming? I don't want to put my head down. I want to look at their face with pride and tell them that I have worked hard to reduce the global warming that they're facing right now. One of my students introduced me to a handle weaver family. The place that I come from is known for the finest hand-woven, luxurious, natural cotton fabric. I went to their place, sat with them, listened to their problems that they face in the weaving industry. Their main problem was they were paid poor wages. They work for around 6 to 8 hours a day and they get paid around 200 rupees which is equivalent to less than 3 US dollars. We decided to work together, promising them a fair wages that they deserve and it's been 4 years now. Month by month, year by year, we try to include more sustainable practices. From synthetic fabric to 100% hand woven cotton fabric to implementing fair wages to pseudo plastic we tried our best to implement better sustainable practices. We then started using sustainable ways of printing. Then there were waste issues. Problems one after the other. We upcycled our defective printed fabrics, cut pieces, trims and fabric swatches to make new garments, accessories and garment bags. I make only one collection per year and my products are made on orders. From eco-friendly printing to eco-friendly packaging, we have come a long way. I always walk to the courier office rather than using my private vehicle. I use more of public transport for my personal and business related travel. I plan ahead to make most of my drive, like if I want to go to the tailors or if I want to buy groceries or if I want to go somewhere else nearby, I always make sure that I do it all at once. That's how I reduce the carbon footprint. Well, carbon footprint is the amount of greenhouse gases emitted from all of your fashion related activities like design, manufacturing, buying, wearing, cleaning, and eventually disposal of clothing. So when you buy garments from any sustainable clothing bra on mine, you can proudly say that our garments do not harm the planet and the people who made our clothes were paid off our wages. Well, now you might be wondering about the clothes that I'm wearing right now. Are my clothes sustainable? Are they eco-friendly? Do they pollute the environment? Well, yes, they do pollute the environment and they do emit greenhouse gases. Let me tell you, I have stopped buying clothes for myself. 
It's been more than three years since I've bought something for myself. The blazes that I'm wearing, I bought them from England in 2014. And these were bought from a high stick actually clothing brand. The trousers that I'm wearing, I bought them from New Zealand, well, three or four years before. Both my garments are actually polluting the environment. And they're made up of microplastics and hazardous chemicals. Now you might be wondering, why am I here? Actually, am I here to promote fast fashion? Or am I here to promote those fabrics that pollute the environment? Well, it's a no. Well, let me tell you, the most sustainable garment is the one that you're already wearing or the one in your wardrobe so that you can extend the life of your clothes by wearing them again and mending them. I'm wearing this for the last 7 years and I'm going to wear them for another, let's say, 10 to 20 years more. I mean, as long as it fits me. <laughs> Hope I don't put on weight. And that's how I increase the life cycle of my clothes. For this, you have to take care of your garment with utmost care. I always air dry them rather than washing them. So that means I wash them very less. So what happens when I repeatedly wash my garments? They ship microfibers or microplastics that eventually end up polluting the earth and the waterways. Up to 700,000 microfibers can detach on a single wash and these are never biodegradable. So ask yourself if your garment needed to be washed or it can be worn three or more times before you decide to wash them. What happens when these garments doesn't fit me? Well, I could donate them to a thrift store or I could give to someone who would love to wear second-hand clothes. But if I dump them, then it would either end up in the landfill or it get burnt. Now, if it end up in the landfill, then my garments are not going to decompose because this contains microplastic. Now, when it get burnt, well, you know how much carbon emissions it would produce just like burning plastic. One garbage truck of clothes are burned or either sent to landfills every second, as per reports by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation. Well, now the shirt that I'm wearing, but you might be wondering if I have made it for the TED Talk. No, it's a handwoven cotton shirt made from upcycled defective printed fabric from my own brand. I have hand painted the stained part of the garment. My garments will last for more than 35 years and it would harm the planet because. These are handmade and eco-friendly. So you have many number of ways where you can reduce the carbon footprint of your clothes. Stop buying too many clothes for yourself. Invest in local brands that value the planet. Buy clothes that are long-lasting and sustainable. Mend your clothes. I mean, don't throw away your garments if its button fell off or you found a hole in the fabric. You can sew the button back or mend the hole. Your mother or a tailor can solve the problem. If your clothes are no longer good to wear, please don't throw them away. You can repurpose your clothes. I mean, you can convert them into racks or grocery bags or kitchen towels or some crafts. The industry that I belong to contribute approximately 2.1 billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions in a single year. Unfortunately, my fashion industry produces 10% of the global carbon emissions, which is more than all the international flights and maritime shipping. If the current trend continues to grow, then by 2030, the emissions will be more than 50%. So we have only 9 years left. I repeat, we have only 9 years left. But I am proud to say that I am reducing the carbon footprint of the planet. I am proud to say that I am fighting for a greener and a safer environment for the present and the future generation. Trust me, we can't solve the climate crisis. All we need is a will to act. Years before I had an idea, I implemented it. I turned my ideas into actions. I am the change, and if I can do it, you can also do it. Thank you.